we are going to change the purifier gear oil so before doing any uh, maintenance work on purifier ensure your purifier power is off and uh, there should be a placard uh, hanged on your uh, power board do not stop board should be uh, displayed so that uh, accidentally no one will start the purifier so before starting the job we have to ensure your safety wear your ppe properly and now we are going to start the job okay so before starting the job uh, we checked already the power is off purifier is stop there is uh, no power everything is off purifier is completely in a stop condition so now we are going to drain the oil first you can see here this is your uh, cyclus for uh, seeing the level of the gear oil uh, inside the sump and this is your uh, vent plug drain plug you can see and uh, we will open the drain plug and drain your uh, old oil and uh, this is your uh, inspection cover and always ensure uh, the small hole for the vent should not be blocked and the small hole is here you can see yeah? there is a small hole over here this is your uh, vent for your uh, gear oil sump so this should not be blocked always when you are doing any maintenance routine checkup ensure that this uh, vent is not uh, blocked and you can see a uh, warning notice do not block the vent hole of the gear cover so this is what i am talking about so now we will start the job and uh, we will open the cover first and uh, we will see the condition of oil inside the gear this is a sam gong purifier and this is very user friendly purifier actually is very easy to do any maintenance work not complicated as some other makers purifier and now we are going to open the cover and you can see the oil inside this is your gear vertical shaft horizontal shaft you can see here you can see the horizontal shaft is visible and the vertical shaft on the other side you can see uh, you can see behind it yeah that's a vertical shaft and you can see the oil inside oil it is due to renew so we are going to renew the oil and you can see the bearing over the corner that is our horizontal shaft bearing yeah uh, this is your uh, cover inspection cover and this is your vent hole you can see the hole over here and you can see this is the air passage for the hole so this hole should not be blocked so this is to avoid uh, any over pressure in your uh, sump so this is this act like a vent for your uh, uh, gear oil sump okay now we are going to drain the oil okay see the oil is coming out this is how we drain the oil and you can see the sump oil level is dropping down when the oil is about to drain completely you just uh, keep a gasket below the drain area so that you can avoid uh, oil splashing out and uh, you can complete your draining without any oil spill outside now we are doing the cleaning manually always use a lintel free rag when you are uh, cleaning the gear oil sump or any kind of sump so that the lintel don't uh, stuck your uh, bearing or uh, your shafts so this is the lubricating oil that we need to use you can see the maker recommendation use the lubricating oil having viscosity grade of iso vg150 so now we are going to change with this oil this is uh, marine renolin clb150 so this is a gear oil and this is recommended by the maker to use 
So now uh, we are going to use, renew this oil. So before that, uh, we will have a check on our uh, gear sump. The sump is clean nicely, and uh, you can see the bearing. Inspect the bearing. This is our vertical shaft, and uh, other side you can see the horizontal shaft. So just you turn it. You can turn it and uh, see the condition of your uh, gear teeth. Ensure uh, there is no damage. Check for any damage, any kind of uh, uh, defects in your uh, gears. So. how we have to inspect this just you need to turn the shaft and uh, keep on continuously monitoring the gear teeth and all these bolts bolts should not be loose so everything is fine okay everything is found in good condition and inside you can see the bearing cap cover that also i will inspect this is also right it's not loose so you can see the other bolts of the gear so everything is in a good condition so now we can renew the oil i'm going to change the oil now okay Topping up of oil, use always a clean gasket so that uh, you can avoid oil splashing out while you are uh, filling oil. And always, when you are filling the oil, check for the level gauge, and it, the oil level should be between uh, H and L. H is for high level and L is for low level. So the oil level should be always uh, between H and L. Yeah, I think it is okay. Yeah, now we achieved the exact level between H and L. Yeah, you can see the sump is filled with oil, and you can. Turn on C also. You can see the gear is touching the oil. So this is the idea for uh, keeping the oil level in between H and L. It should not be overfilled also, and it should not be filled less also. The gear should uh, touch the oil so that uh, while running it will give you a sp splash lubrication. Okay, we'll put back the cover. We'll put back the casing cover. to ensure the gasket is not damaged and we had already checked the vent port that is clear okay all bolts are tightened Gear casing cover is put back in place. Okay, now the job is done. Purifier gear oil has been changed. I believe uh, this video must have given you some idea about uh, how to change gear oil for the purifier. If you like this video, like, subscribe, and share.